Welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Robin and I do sewing and crafting tutorials, but today is Friday Sews. Before we get started, I want to share with you a gift I just received. My niece's mother-in-law made this for me. Isn't it beautiful? She made the necklace and this used to be a pin that people would wear. She took off the little attachment and she made it into a necklace for me because she knows how much I love sewing. Isn't that beautiful? So I wore this dress because I thought it would match this really cute. So thank you, Margaret. I love it. You know me so well. And then at the same time, my sister-in-law dropped off this necklace to me because she knows how much I love hearts. So thank you, Annabelle. I love my necklaces. Now let's get on to sewing. This week, I made another pin tuck dress. And I did the burrito method with using the facing. I did the burrito method. I still need to hem it and I still need to add my pockets but I got this much done because I've been working on another project. It's a really big project and I can't wait to share it with you, but I, but I need to wait until I have everything together. It's a lot more work than I had anticipated, but I'm so excited and I will um, let you know as soon as I can, but I still have some things to work on it and I will let you know and keep you posted. And coming up soon, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to make a sock bunny rabbit for Easter. Remember when I made these for Christmas, the sock snowman? Well, I have, um, I have a great tutorial I'm gonna be making showing you how I make my sock bunny. So I've been going through all my fun socks, trying to, to find out which socks I'm gonna use to make my bunny rabbit. I've been searching for my sample that I made of my bunny rabbit in the past and I can't find it, so. I'll just make another one when I do the tutorial. So stay tuned for that. They're so cute and easy to make with your grandkids or your children. So that'll be coming up in the future. And I told y'all last week that I was going to my brother's community yard sale and wait till you see what I found. Look what I got at the yard sale, a Janome 423S. Isn't it amazing? And it works. And it even came with it even came with the manual. So I know how to how to do everything with it. And it sews beautifully. I couldn't believe it. I brought it home, I cleaned it up and oiled it, and it sews like a dream. I couldn't believe it. For five dollars. What a deal. Let me show you. Look at the beautiful look at the beautiful stitches it does. It's amazing, beautiful. And it has a little compartment here that you open in the front to hold all your stuff. And it came with the buttonhole attachment, a little screwdriver, sewing needles, some bobbins, some bobbins, and and it came with some sewing feet. Looks like a little rolled edge hemmer, a zipper foot, and this looks has a little roller like a like a to sew over things like a Teflon foot would I think. For five bucks. What a deal. I couldn't believe it. I like I love my sewing machine, but it's nice to have a really good one to for backup. Anyway, I couldn't believe the deal I got on this. Okay, the next items I got at the yard sale, you see everything here, everything in this bag, and this little sewing kit and what's in it. I got all of this for $5. Unbelievable. Look at this cute little sewing kit. And it says, um, Dritz on the bottom. Made in Japan. And my favorite thing inside of this little sewing box is this little thimble, my pink little thimble. So I got a thimble, I got sewing thread, 
I got dice that have a hole like to make them into a necklace or earrings or something and some elastic and I got some little pins. Got that one, that one. and that one and they have a little pin on the back so that was really cool and a pack of sewing needles and the next remember all of this was five this and this was all five dollars and I got some nice ribbon pink my favorite color for wrapping gifts. Oh my gosh, and this beautiful Robin is a letter opener. Isn't that beautiful? Couldn't believe that. And I got two decks of playing cards that were brand new in the package. Sewing trinkets little container with some pins straight pins and two tape measures I love this pretty blue one so pretty and I got some more elastic and some more sewing pins and I got some cute journals believe it or not this is a journal this was made in 1984 and you, it's metal. And you open it, and it's where you used to put your phone numbers here back in the old days, and it has this nice paper. This would make good tracing paper. It's kind of thin. So it's padded paper. I thought that was interesting. And then I got all these journals. I love having lots of journals to write my ideas in and entries for prayer journals. Isn't that pretty? This reminds me of the 70s with those flowers. Let's see. There's a date on this one. This is 2012. And another journal. And this is really cool. It's a journal and it has a paper and some like graph paper for designing which would come in handy in my craft room and a calculator so that was really cool and I got some triple a rechargeable batteries and I got this brand new in a package harmonica for my grandson I'm sure his mom and dad will like that <laughs> And I got this game called Bananagrams. And it has all these letters. I'll have to read how to play the game. I got it because I might use the letters for a craft or something. But I'll see what, it has instructions too, how to play the game. I'll have to read them. If anyone's played this game, let me know if it's fun, if I would like it, instead of using that for a craft. <laughs> we'll see. But it's like, in new condition I couldn't believe it and look at this fabric the beautiful red cardinals and there's quite a bit of it here it looks like a, about a yard of fabric and I got this fabric and this is about a yard of fabric also I thought I'd use these to maybe make some something for Christmas or make some gift bags for Christmas what a good deal. And another smaller piece of fabric, but this one's my favorite. I love florals. This is just a scrap size, but it's beautiful. I love it. And I got this cute little tiny ruler. And I got these 
60 inch LED string lights, 30 warm white, white lights. Normally it sells for 20 bucks. And I got a pair of, of um, needle nose pliers to cut and a wire cutter in there too. That comes in handy for my crafts. So I got this adorable sewing kit in the box. This golden frame sewing kit, this beautiful gold. And it has the scissors and thread and buttons. So all of this for five bucks. That was amazing. And I got a couple more things I want to show you. I got this pack of photo paper for 25 cents. And it's got a lot in here. So I can print off some pictures of my grandson and my new granddaughter when she gets here. I can't wait for my granddaughter to get here. She'll be born in April. My daughter-in-law is 31 weeks tomorrow. So I can't wait nine more weeks till I have a granddaughter. So excited and her, her older brother is gonna be three, so perfect age, three years apart. I can't wait to go see them. And then I got this necklace, it was a dollar. This beautiful necklace and earring set. I got this beautiful necklace. Let's see, it's by Liz Claiborne. A Liz Claiborne necklace and the matching earrings for a dollar. So pretty. One dollar for that. And then I got these little earrings. They came in these little containers and they were 50 cents each. 50 cents a set. I love these. I wear hoops all the time. And then I got this little gold pair with the container for 50 cents. These are little, little gold hoops. And I like when they have these little things here because that makes it easy to put on and close. I will have to find those little backing things that get lost and dropped all the time. So that was a deal. And then I got another journal, so pretty. It says the best is yet to come. Beautiful. I love this little snap. And these, I love, these were 25 cents each. Look at this. At first I thought they were trivets. So I was gonna use them for trivets in my kitchen, but then I noticed it had a little hook here to hang them on the wall. So I wonder if I could do either or, cause I just love that. And here's one that says hope. I don't know if you could see this. Yeah. Hope. And here's dream. And this one is my favorite. It says love. I don't see the sticker still on there. 25 cents. I had so much fun. I hadn't been yard selling in forever. I used to go all the time when I was younger. So it was fun to get out and find some goodies. What are you guys up to this week? I hope y'all have a great weekend. But if you like my videos, check out this video right here. I think you'll really like it. Thanks for joining me today. Y'all have a so blessed day. Bye for now.